two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Here we go. Good morning, my friends, and happy Wednesday. It is Wednesday, which means it is weigh in and meeting topic. Let's get to that weigh in. I'm very disappointed. I had a great week. I had a great week. I thought for sure I was going to get a couple of those pounds off that have snuck up on me the last couple of weeks. I didn't. I stayed the same, which I know that's a win in itself sometimes, but I really, really expect it to drop a pound or two. But I'm not going to let it deter me. Maybe my body hasn't caught up to the good work I put in last week, and that's okay. I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. And I know it's going to catch up eventually. I'm going to be very mindful again this week. Everything is getting tracked. I'm getting my water in. I'm going to have another great week. And I know it's going to show up on the scale. It's just taking its time. And that's okay. Not going to let it deter me. Not going to let it put me off track. <sighs> but it was disappointing. I'm not going to lie. I expected to step on that scale and I expected to see a couple pounds gone. I will say, I was very bad about taking my medicine last week, and I know that's not good. I know that is not good. Um, I, I was real out of routine last week with that. Um, you know, I, I, I have my morning routine, and a couple mornings I was just out of routine and I forgot to take it. So I will, I've set reminders in my phone to make sure I do that this week, and so far, so good. So, anyway. Well, let's get on to the meeting topic now that we know about my way in. The facts of life. Everybody, not everybody, so many people are afraid of fat. So many people. And I see it all the time. Um, I see it in my Facebook group a lot. You know, when I post a recipe and it has some olive oil or something in it and people are like, well, I, I made that, but I, or I would make that, but I would use nonstick cooking spray. I'm not going to waste points on olive oil. We have to remember our bodies need healthy fats. They need them. We need to eat balanced. We need to eat our healthy fats. We need to eat our dairy. We need to eat our whole grains. We need to eat our fruits and our vegetables. We need to eat our lean proteins. Part of eating balanced is healthy fats. You need fat for so many different things. You need fat for your skin and for your hair. You need fat. You have to, you have to eat fat to burn fat. It does so many things. It keeps us regular. It helps with digestion so many things. So you cannot entirely eliminate fat from your diet. It's just not good to do. But that being said, I'm not saying dump a whole half a cup of olive oil on top of your salad. Use it sparingly. So get it if, if you don't want to, you know, use an olive oil based dressing or something like that. Get it in in other ways. Use it to saute your vegetables. Use it to roast your vegetables. Use it to saute your chicken in things like that. Don't always grab for the non-stick spray. Think about it and use that little bit of olive oil, especially if you're putting it in a recipe that has six servings. If you're using a tablespoon of olive oil in six servings, that's adding less than a point per serving. And you're getting and giving your body what you need. So think about that. Now, all fats are not created equal. The fats that we love, the good stuff, aren't the ones that are best for us. The butter, oh God, I love butter. You know, the butter, the cheese, the full fat milk. They're the ones that aren't as good for us. They are your saturated fats. I'm not saying not to use them. Absolutely, just use them sparingly. Your unsaturated fat, they're the ones that you want to use more, but once again, sparingly, especially because they are a lot of points. I wish WW would do what they used to do on the Simply Filling Plan and give you one or two servings of healthy fats a day for zero points, because I think people tend to shy away from those healthy fats because they don't want to spend five points on a quarter cup of nuts. 
I'm willing to do that because I love nuts, but I also have to be very careful because I can overeat them. But seriously, I wish they would rethink the whole uh, healthy fat thing and the points. I, I just wish they'd give us just one serving a day and I think people would eat it more. But that being said, reserve some points for some healthy fats every day, some nuts, some avocado, those, those type of fats are so good for us. Cook in olive oil. I know, like, I'm allergic to olive avocado, we think. So I avoid that, but I do try to get my nuts in. I do try to get my avocado in. We love salmon. Salmon is very high in unsaturated fat and very healthy for you. It's on the zero-point food list. I'm not saying go out and eat a pound of salmon, but definitely try to get those healthy fats in. And like I said, with the saturated fats, use them sparingly. We eat beef, we eat pork, we eat cheese. We just don't have them every single day, but we do still eat them. The fat that you should try to avoid the most is your trans fat. That's found in certain margarines. It's found in certain microwave popcorns. It's found in a lot of coffee creamers. It's found in a lot of crackers, cakes, frostings, things like that. All the really good stuff. I'm not saying not have it ever because that's unrealistic and your journey needs to be real. I'm just saying, watch it. Just eat it mindfully, eat it as a treat, not every day. Especially watch your processed foods. Um, just because something may be low in smart points, it may not be the best thing for you. Read your labels, look at your labels, see what the saturated fat, the unsaturated fat, the trans fats. See what is in there and what you're putting in your body. And maybe, maybe just try to swap it out for a bit of a healthier choice. I'm not saying I'm perfect because I am far from it. But I have really started watching labels and things like that. Just because as I get older, I just, this is the only body I have and I'd like it to last a long time. So just try to be a little bit mindful about, especially the fats we're putting in our body, but definitely get some saturated fats in or unsaturated fats in there. Definitely because they will, you'll see a big difference. You'll see a big difference in your hair and your skin, in your bathroom habits. You'll see a difference uh, probably in your weight loss, because like I said, it takes fat to burn fat. Look at um, the keto diet. Not that I'm an advocate of that, I'm not, but they eat a lot of fat and people drop a lot of weight fast. I'm not saying to do that because I don't think eating excess is healthy either, but it definitely helps in your weight loss. And it just helps overall to keep things lubricated and moving. Your digestion, it aids in digestion. And if you digest better, you burn fat better and you feel better. So... That's what I have to say about that. Um, the weekly this week gives us some swaps. If you're using butter, maybe try avocado. If you are using beef or pork, try an oily fish such as salmon or tuna or herring. If you're using croutons, use some pumpkin seeds. I love pumpkin seeds. They're otherwise known as pepitas. They are delicious. If you're using coconut oil, which used to be the big rage, now they're finding that it's not as great for you as they thought it was, swap it out for some olive oil. If you're having chips with your sandwich, have a few nuts instead. And having that fat is going to keep you fuller longer. It definitely, definitely helps fill you up and keep you more satisfied, that little bit of fat. So just, you know, give it a try. Try to swap out a few little things and see what happens. Try it for a week. What do you have to lose? Except maybe a pound. So that's all I have to say about that. And the recipe on the back, grilled pineapple skewers with a honey thyme glaze. They look very good. I'm not a big fan of thyme, especially on my fruit, but I do love me some grilled pineapple. Oh, I do love it. I like to put a little bit of zero calorie brown sugar on it and grill it up. And oh my goodness, it's like dessert. It is so good. So if you like thyme, give that a little try. I would do it without the thyme, but with the honey, but it's good. 
So that is all I have for you this week. I know, usually my weekly topics are like 20 minutes, but this was a quick one. So just to recap, stayed the same on the scale. A little bit disappointed in that. Oh, I did, I, I did forget to mention, our studios are going to start opening again. Not for meetings, just for weigh-in. Lots of rules and regs. Um, only two people in there at a time. You have to wait outside in line. Um, you know, you can't touch anything. You must, must wear shoes, not even socks. Because see, our place lets us wear socks. So I bought a pair of like flip-flops that weigh like an ounce to wear those. And when I did weigh in on Tuesday, I did wear what I would normally wear to weigh in. I wore um, a cami, I wore a pair of workout shorts, and I wore those flip-flops to weigh in. So got to get back to that again. Um, I believe our studio is opening next week. I think they said lifetime members do not have to weigh in until August. I will probably wait a couple weeks just till they work the kinks out. Um, and honestly, I don't really feel like going and standing in line because they have very limited hours. So I'm going to see how it goes. And then in a couple weeks, definitely get back. I mean, I know I'm still under my WW goal, so I'm fine. But they are going to start that if you don't weigh in, you don't get the password for the Zoom meetings. Or I go to a um, franchise. I go to WW of Philadelphia. And they're going to start passwording the Zoom meetings. So unless you weigh in, you don't get the password. I don't attend the Zoom meetings anyway, so not a big deal for me. But as long as my e-tools are still going, I'm good. So yeah, just wanted to give you that little update. And that's it. Have a fantastic day and get a, just try it, get a little bit of fat in, you know, don't reach for that Pam spray, put a teaspoon or two of olive oil in there and just see what happens. Have a good one. I will talk to you soon and I'm going to try to do a full day of eating today. We'll see if that pops up tonight. Have a great one, everyone.